hi everyone so today we are going to see how to draw a nose using pencil so you can start by drawing a rough circle on the paper according to the size of nose you want to make uh, make sure that this what we are going to do initially is we are setting up the base we are trying to identify the bone structure according to our reference drawing or according to our reference real person whosoever you are drawing so once you have drawn the circle draw two parallel lines below the half portion on the second half portion of the circle and then two parallel lines from the top that is from 12 o'clock and perpendicular to the first pair of parallel lines which you have drawn so i will just stop here explaining and i will tell that why i am telling these parallel lines because this methods i, I have seen a lot of method and this basically like suits me there can be various other tricks there can be various other methods which are out there so please uh, try to understand your ways and do it accordingly so this is what i'm trying to do here is i'm just trying to uh, you know roughly draw the bone structures the holes in the bone the septum of your nose so that i can draw the lifted part the highlighted part the dark shaded region accordingly so here i'm just trying to make the edges outlining the edges here if you can see again with a very very light hand you can go back and forth back and forth back and forth until you get the desired curve you need right so try your best not to use eraser at the very first place especially when you are trying to make the base or this basic outline what you can do to avoid that is just use a very light pencil like 2h or h here i am using is 2b i am using 2b i uh, have experience of using the darker shade pencil and how to you know get the lighter shade how much pressure to put again pressure is a game here how much pressure you put according to that the shade of the pencil will change from light to dark depending upon the pressure you are putting now here if you can see on the left hand portion i am just trying to shade the portion which is just next to your nose and merging with the eye socket eye socket in your skull will be hollow so i'm just trying to eliminate that part first so that i can focus on the nose part obviously because nose is not a separate structure it's in your face right there are other things surrounding it so we have to make sure that the curves which we are drawing the shades which we are drawing it should represent the curves also the adjacent thing next to that structure there will be eyeball there will be uh, cheek bones there will be lip bone upper lip bones and forehead too depending upon how much you are drawing so this is just we are focusing on nose so we have taken like a minimum area so next what i have done here is both the side uh, surrounding the diameter if you can see i have drawn a little darker shade than what i have drawn in the left and right eye socket portion little darker shade why because the middle center portion of your nose which is bulging out the white portion which i have not shaded yet the light will directly fall on that region so that region will be bulging out so it will highlight more compared to the inclined region of your nose which is going backward the next if you can see i am just shading the holes with again 
वन टोन लाइटर देन वॉट आई हैव ड्रॉन इन द नोज ब्रिज एंड जस्ट ट्राइंग टू डिफाइन द यू नो लोअर नो स्टिप एंड नोस्ट्रिल्स नाउ वॉट यू कैन डू इज अगेन गिव अ लिटल लाइटर शेड ऑन द ब्रिज ऑन द टॉप पोर्शन ऑफ द ब्रिज ऑन बोथ द साइड मूविंग योर पेंसिल अपवर्ड इफ यू आर मूविंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड टू अपवर्ड मेक श्योर यू आर मूविंग right side also upward and then in between in between you can just give a you know a very rough hand on the very center point because obviously your no one's nose nose is like proper very proper you will have different different bone structures you will have different different bone reflections even on your bridge it's not like entirely smooth next one you once your base is done you can take a blending tool i am using a stump here i am using a stump from shredler so again what you can do is start with blending the lighter shade why lighter shade because if you start blending the darker shade and then again you use the same stump for the lighter shade the your lighter shade will also become dark so always try blending with the lighter shade then the next shade next to the lighter one and then at the last you can go for the darker shade or you have to keep on you know refining your tool using a sandpaper so that it can take off all the extra dark color what it has got when you were blending the dark shade by this time you would have got a little clear picture that okay something is going on it's like somewhat lit little bit looking like a nose but still it's in the mid process one more thing while i'm blending i just want to convey that i am doing it in one go if you are a beginner or a intermediate or like mediator or just started drawing few days back and you're getting a hang of it i request you to draw the idle outline go and take a little break stretch out little bit stretch your fingers go drink some water come back then do some 15 minutes of work just scratch with some pencil and all make the base then again go take some break again then come back then start blending it you will you will definitely definitely feel the difference what i why i'm saying this when you sit and try to finish the whatever art or whatever piece you are working on it definitely has its drawbacks you can't do it you get frustrated you just want to finish it off quickly so it doesn't may not become may not come out that way maybe you'll mess up in the last part maybe you'll get little anxious maybe you'll get little impatient so take a decent amount of break in between the it it's not necessary that you have to finish it off just now within half an hour now again i am just giving it darker shade wherever i need because blending you will you might lose a little bit of uh you know that shading differentiation what you have done in the starting so you have the memory you know where you have to put a little darker shade or you can again refer to the drawing which you are drawing just observe it it's all about observation where there is a darker shade where there is a light falling it will show the highlight opposite to that light falling region you will have a shadow again a darker shade tip of course will be lighter the center portion which you can see little circular again blend it as here i don't want to again rub the stump on the highlighted region because it it may make it more darker so i am just highlighting the region which i have just redrawn or reshaded so as you would have seen that i am using a same pencil for everything for every type of shade just using the different pressure if you are a beginner you can use 2b you can use 3b you can use 4b and for darker shades you can even use 8b and 10b so, and if you are pro at handling you know how much pressure you can apply or you can handle 
uh, you know about it so you can use the same pencil also so here after finishing the blending like 90% of the blending is done I realized that the nostril are little lower than what I thought or what I wanted to draw so I will refine that depth or the height using the pencil using the darker shade pencil so here I'm just curving it up a little bit on the upper side so that now the nostrils are visible a little bit or else they were looking a little flat in the starting point it's like a learning process when you do you realize certain things you can do this trick you can do that and all again depending on the different type of nose shape you are drawing the side view or you're drawing the three-fourth view or you're drawing the front view and again the sides leaving the edge little bit lighter you can again just draw the pigmented area on the nose where you feel okay this portion is little darker so I can just scratch it a little bit of you know 8b pencil or 10b pencil over it again don't touch the nose tip it has to be lighter it's like a by default you have to keep the nose tip lighter it is in everyone everyone's nose because light directly falls on our face even if you are side facing or three fourth of your face is exposing the light or the front of course you have to highlight the nose tip so here if you can see on the left hand side i have just tried to draw a little bit of you know uh, connecting try to a little bit connect the nose to the cheek bones cheek skin again defining the bridge and a bone structure little bit little bit twisted bone structure not a very smooth not very contoured So here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to blend the shade of my nose to the cheeks so that they looks like a, a single piece it should not look like a patch the nose shading what I have done it should not look like a patch okay this is something different they all are going to the part of a single face or the portrait you are going to draw in which for which you are maybe the same this nose drawing so you need to keep on blending if it's not coming in two minutes keep on blending keep on blending 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 that's the recording mat karne dena here i'm just trying to observe if i have left anything if i have left any major basic detail and at the end just to summarize everything what and all steps we have followed what are major steps first you need to form a base you need to mark the boundaries from where to where you need to draw a particular structure then where you have to draw the lighter shade You can use 2B, 3B, again depending on your reference drawing or 4B and depending on the skin tone too. Then the darker shade of course, the eyeball which we were talking about in the starting.
you can even use 4b pencil also here and 6b or 7b pencil also here the nostrils of course the darkest shade you have 8b it can be 8b it can be 10b depending on the different brands some brands you will get 8b also very like you know very dark shade very dark pigment you will get in 8b and some may you have to go at least till 10b and in some brands you may have to go till 12b also then this the middle portion the uplifted portion the fronts exact the like top surface the highlight if you feel like at the end uh, uh, you have done too much of blending and your nose bridge is not at all visible you can use a eraser eraser as in it will be better if you use a clay eraser or if you can use a soft eraser non dust eraser and just try to you know rub the area very lightly or just don't have to rub it just press it press it press it press it and pick it up press it and pick it up so that you get a, like you know the highlight which you lost during blending give it multiple attempts it may not come in once two three times tap it tap it tap it and as i said that i have made this entire sketch using a single pencil which you can see in my hand it's a 2b lead i am using here with 0.5 mm diameter and i hope you like it you have learned something i have tried